Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Okay, so we got to talk about this whole Ice Spice situation. Now, I didn't know this little girl. I just, I don't know all these little TikTok stars. Because they're, they're, you know. They're my kids' age. I don't follow children. But Ice Spice is facing backlash because she got a new song out called Deli, where she's like rapping about her pink panties or rapping about panties or something like that. And so in that song, Deli, there's a 16-year-old TikToker there twerking, twerking her young underage cheeks. So let's go ahead. Let me share my screen real quick. This is the video. We can't play the music. But this is the song, Deli. I don't know if the girl... That's her. She was on there for like five seconds. That's a little 16-year-old. So her name is Aya Tanjali or something like that. Um, and she says, I was really shaking my ass in the deli. And then Ice Spice comes. She likes it. Blows a kiss at Ice Spice. So now I guess all the girls... TikTok followers are saying stuff. So they're saying, yeah, you mad weird for having a 16-year-old child doing all that in your music video. I'm not even going to hold you. That person is clearly from New York. <laughs> I can tell by how they wrote. Um, then this person says, I actually, I'm actually kind of disgusted that Ice Spice had that little girl twerking in her music video. But let me not say too much. Somebody else says, I'm not going to retweet it because they got to stop sharing that picture. But that little girl twerking in the Ice Spice video got way too many people defending it. Too many people trying to justify Ice Spice having a minor twerking in her video. Just say y'all normalize pedophilia and like little girls. Somebody else says Ice Spice really gives bad influences to the young generation out here. Just take a look at her latest music video. She got a 16-year-old twerking, shaking my head. Somebody says there's no way that in that Ice Spice that there's no way that Ice Spice video, a 16-year-old girl, is twerking. Somebody else says, whether y'all say that young girl Aja is fast or ask her parents where or ask where her parents are, Ice Spice and her Ice Spice team should not have allowed her to be in that video twerking on the counter knowing she's 16. It's literally that simple. And uh, this is her, I guess, her Wikipedia. She was born in 2007. She is 16 years old. So... That is the drama. Um, I guess for me, I just feel like, where's her parents? She's a minor. I don't think she's from New York. I could be wrong. I thought they said that she was from out of town. So how did she, who booked her plane ticket? How did she get there? Who booked her hotel stay? Like how did, where's she from? Let me read, let me look in the chat. Is she from New York? Did she walk to the Delhi video or did she fly in? Let's start there, because I don't know nothing about this child. Her wiki says Texas, but I don't know if she still lives in Texas. She's from Houston. Okay, thank you. Oh, Austin. Okay, either way, she's from Texas. So if she is from Texas, how did she get to New York as a 16-year-old? So she had to have flown either with an adult or a adult had to buy her ticket, hotel stay, all that stuff. See, the problem is... Somebody says she flew out on her own. How how is she able to fly out on her own? She has a she has a credit card. How is she able to book the tickets? See, the problem is y'all want to y'all want to blame Ice Spice, and I'm not saying that Ice Spice doesn't bear some responsibility, but the issue is you have parents who want to live vicariously through their children. And they're willing to pimp off their children with no shame. She has a large following. She's making money off of social media. She's probably paying all the bills in the house, so her parents don't care. Her parents should be held more accountable than Ice Spice. Ice Spice is the artist. Did Ice Spice know she was 16? Absolutely. I refuse to believe that Ice Spice did not know. Did Ice Spice care? No, because Ice Spice was also hanging out with the damn nine-year-old. AKA Northwest. 
So my thing is you have these parents out here who are living vicariously through their children and pimping their children out. Just like I said with the R. Kelly situation and people wanting to drag me. I said, why ain't the parents locked up right next to R. Kelly? You mean to tell me these parents had no idea that's where their child was at? They were willing to pimp out their daughters because they saw the benefit in it for them. See, as long as their children, their minor children are hanging with a celebrity that can either help their status, make them money, it's okay. Now, if Ice Spice was rice rice from the Bronx that nobody knew about, nobody was checking for, the parents wouldn't have, the parents would have paid, they would not have played rice no mind. No, you're not about to be in a rice music video. Who the fuck is rice But because it's Ice Spice, it's okay to allow their daughter to be scantily clad crawling on a clown on a counter like a damn stripper at 16. See, it's all about status to a lot of people. We know R. Kelly's a pervert. We know he was doing all these things to Aaliyah. But I'd rather pimp my daughter out to a rich pervert than allow her to date some broke ass 16, 17 year old who ain't got shit. Because again, the parents are looking out for themselves. Remember, Asriel's mom, the same chicken head who was on the R. Kelly documentary crying tattoo tears, throwing rocks and shit at the studio looking for her daughter as if she didn't pimp her own child out. Remember when the text messages came out for Jane Doe, the mother was teaching her step by step how to seduce R. Kelly. But y'all not ready for that conversation. Aaliyah's goofy ass mom. Remember, she came out defending R. Kelly. When folks were dragging R. Kelly, she came out to defend him. Because she knows deep down inside, she pimped her daughter, Aaliyah, off to R. Kelly. So y'all got all this smoke for Ice Spice, and I'm not saying that she doesn't deserve some of the blowback. But where is the smoke for the parents? Because last time I checked, the 16-year-old is a minor. You see, when my child came in, who's the same age as this girl, what'd he do? He checked in first. He came right to the doorway to let me know he was here. That's what it is to be a parent. My 16-year-old daughter would not have been on somebody's counter shaking her ass in an Ice Spice video. So you got a lot of these parents who want to live vicariously through their daughters. I don't know what her mama looked like. Her mom might be a dime piece. Her mom might be morbidly obese. I don't know. But a lot of them who didn't get attention when they were teenagers, who weren't the baddies when they were teens, are not making sure to make their daughters out that way. And it's sad. It's really sad. But I feel like, you know, that's the parents. You know, that's on the parents. Her parents pimped her out. They let her go there, be in the music video, you know, twerk, shake her ass. And then I also find it very hypocritical of the internet to also be upset that a 16 year old is in the video shaking her ass. But y'all watch her shake her ass on TikTok. She has all these followers on TikTok. Is she doing, like, is she performing brain surgery on TikTok or is she shaking her ass on TikTok? So are y'all really mad because she made it into a music video? Is that what pissed y'all off? Because y'all don't seem to be mad at her TikTok videos. She's doing the same thing on TikTok. So uh, again, it's a lot of hip. Yeah, that's the gag, right? What's the difference? Most of the people following her on TikTok are grown men. I don't follow kids. I'm not interested in anything anybody under the age of 18 has going on. I don't care if that's Blue Ivory, Northwest. I don't follow people's children. I follow my own. I don't follow other people's kids. I don't want a bunch of children on my timeline. So again, is it that y'all are really concerned? Or y'all are some of y'all just hating? Because <laughs> she made it in a music video and y'all didn't. Because again, she does the same thing on her TikToks. And her parents are obviously okay with it. She gets millions of views for shaking her ass. And then ask yourself, who is Ice Spice's music for? Me and my friends are not dancing to Ice Spice like that. It's the kids. Is she not also on the Barbie song? 
Who's who's doing the dances? It's, she's geared towards children. So why wouldn't a 16 year old want to go be in her music video? Want to go shake her ass in her video? That's all Ice Spice does. That's their role model. So I'm not going to knock the child. Even Northwest was trying to shake her ass when she had on that little wig and was acting like Ice Spice when she was doing the Boys of Liar. So it's, it's like, you know, people get upset, but these songs are geared towards 16-year-olds. She's talking about panties. Like, like what, what grown adult taught me panties? Grown adults, we like draws. <laughs> Lingerie. <laughs> No, grown adults talking about some damn panties. <laughs> we said, hold on, what I said, oh, no, I meant blue, did I call it blue ivory? Blue ivy, whatever, whatever her name is, blue ivy, right? Blue ivy, sorry, I called her ivory. But yeah, so it's like all of this is geared towards young people, young kids. So for me, I have more smoke for the parents than Ice Spice. You know, Ice Spice definitely knew the girl age and, you know, probably invited her person, who knows. But at the end of the day, her adults, the adult parents are the ones who are in charge of her well-being, are the ones who can allow their daughter to leave the state to go to a whole nother state. So y'all have to put the blame on the, on the parents. And the fact that the parents are allowing her to sit on TikTok and twerk and do all that extra stuff, that's because the parents are benefiting too. So it's sad. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.